right we are back with the creating a 5m framework uh this is sort of part three so a little bug a couple bug fixes in here and a couple changes so i already sort of did this on my my end just to see what we were doing i added basically um i added a couple prints uh in our load character function here uh those prints were on the top excuse me on the top uh and then in here and in here you probably already see the change uh i set these to true or false because since uh it is a boolean value it actually gets passed through true and how i figured this out was i copied this and i basically put this inside of a print so i did a print right here and did this and it came out true it's not a number value but it's a true or false and i just sort of lost that uh because technically booleans are one or two or in this case true or false um so I could sort of show you that it works now. So I'm going to ensure my base. Now this character has a uh, set to one. So we're going to create a new one. Uh, just call it Bob test. And we'll just select a date real quick. And there we go. So we have our characters here and we can go into here, check our local holes and you'll see, uh, Oh, new on, John right here is set to zero and new on Bob is set to one. So first thing we could do is select our John and look at that. It will open our menu and we could spawn properly. Um, oh, I see what happened here. I see what happened here. I believe. Um, oh, okay. I actually do see what happened here. So with this, uh, we can take a look at this a little bit later. So instead, we're going to do Bob. Now, this one should just spawn us by the airport. And look at that. It does. So what happened on this other one is we can go into here and basically just show you instantly. Um, so first off, we have to go back to our load player real quick into our player loaded. So where's our player loaded? So basically, I want to copy these one more time. Um, since we are opening the menu here, uh, it's actually inside of here that's the issue, and it's right here. Uh, we're, we're, for some reason, we set the chords, which I believe is actually the wrong choice. So let's do a ensure of mp-spawn first, um, and let me load, reload the base here. And now each one is set to zero, uh, so we're going to do harmony. And hopefully, because what happened, I want to say, it set our chords. Yeah. Okay. So it just set our chords. As you can see, though, we're still frozen, and which means we're most likely still invisible here. Um, and that is most likely because it doesn't like this. So we're going to go into our scripts.js real quick. And do data.spawn name. So it's reading it right. Um, what we can do, I believe we could actually just, so we're setting this to true. I believe let's just do this. Let's try triggering a event here and we're going to call it MP, uh, MP spawn unfreeze. Um, just like so. And we'll write this up here just to make sure. So we're going to register a net event and we're going to add an event handler here. And basically what we're going to call it is that MP dash spawn colon unfreeze, just like so. And we're going to have function and we're not going to put anything in it because we don't really need anything in it. Um, and then we're going to do local source. Oh, wait, I see what I messed up on. I don't even think we actually need this. I just am stupid and set them to true instead of false, right? Um, so not invisible and not freeze entities position here. So we'll start that, restart this, set this up and go to harmony one more time and just make sure that is all fixed and good to go, um, which it is, perfect. So the next thing we would need to do, uh, this is mainly on a new spawn, but uh, nonetheless, uh, we don't really need to check it out right now but we do need to add a couple notifications. So I'm gonna get out of this because we already sort of fixed all the errors. 
Uh, this video should be coming out Saturday for people wondering. Um, but we're going to go into our elements, go into our client, and we're going to grab uh, this exports right here. So uh, the colors, I believe, do we have colors? Green, red, and blue. Perfect. So we're going to go in here. Uh, and we're just going to sort of scroll through our base, make sure that we have everything good to go um, and whatnot. So we got to add Discord logs here, but nothing under un unusual. And then in our client, nothing unusual. One more time, nothing unusual. I think we had something in our commands, right? But these are server commands, which I don't know if we could actually use. I don't believe we can use exports of that. So, okay, that's why we are gonna do this. So we're gonna go into our elements right here. And do, do, do. We can just do this. So trigger or register net event add event handler. Um, and this is just for server side events. So this is gonna be mp elements colon client. Actually, it doesn't even need to be client. It could just be send notification, just like so. And basically, what we want from this is a function and we're gonna want a couple things which is color um message color message we don't really need time um and basically what we're gonna do is export this right like this uh message um and set oops, clr 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 just like this. So we can save that. And now inside of, where was it, commands? Inside of here. Basically, we could just do a, go back to it, go back to here. We could trigger this for color and whatnot. So um, trigger client event, this comma. Okay, so color, let's just do one um, message being do we want the message to be if uh, set group uh, set group correctly to uh, dot dot can we just do group yeah uh, so set group correctly to group basically just like that let's just add two dot dots right after that and make sure it's good all right so that should be adding the notification properly we're gonna remove that it down here we are going to a uh, wrong group. So uh, let's do three. I believe three was red. Uh, and basically we're gonna set to incorrect group, right? Oh, wait, we gotta set this to someone too. So who are we setting, sending this to is the question. Um, I believe we should send it to not, well, I guess technically here would be a target, right? We send this to the target, uh, then they have uh, set group correctly to group, then they know. Uh, but in here, in this case, uh, we should be sending it to source. And since they're using the source of commands, yeah, incorrect group basically just tells them. And then right here, we could do this as well, uh, where it is no player found. Just like that. And then we could add logs in here, but I still want to wait a little bit before we add the logs. So we're not going to do that. So add, add notification for no permission, um, just like this. Oh, can we just, let me just do these all these. And then no permissions, just like that. Add notification for source. Okay, so got this. Add notification with new player. So a couple things here. Um, this is going to be a, I believe two, two, I believe two is green. I really hope these are good green. Uh, so this is updating priority, which I don't even think we're going to actually use this priority, but you never know. We might. Um, Prio updated um, to 
cryo updated to dot dot uh, level. Um, and I feel like we should send. Should we send this to both? Yeah, you know what? Let's send it to both. Let's send it to the player as well. Then they know their thing is updated. Um, and yeah, that's sort of like a cool thing. We'll give them a little green. I believe I believe one's green, so we'll give them a green. Or maybe one. Wait. What did I have it to here? Two is red. Two is definitely red. Hold on. Uh, if two is red, no permission should be two. This should be no player found, incorrect group. One is definitely green. Two is red. Three is, no, one is blue. We'll do that then. Did we do a no player found? Yes, we did. So no player found there. Um, let me search for notification. Add Nodi here uh, with no blip found. Okay, so uh, no blip found. Crazy how that one works. Add notification for wrong user group. We already did this. So send notification, notifications, that's good. And that should be all the notifications in there, uh, which means we are gonna be done for this episode. Now I'm gonna save all these. And there's been a lot of base changes. There's still going to be more. We uh basically going to be re removing a lot of these managers down here and making our own separate ones. So like our spawn manager and our map manager, uh, that's going to be sort of built into the base. And the base still runs at uh, literally the bare minimum of uh, CPU usage, which is fantastic. But on that note, we will see you on the next. Uh, subscribe, comment, go in the Discord, fuck around in the Discord, have some fun in the Discord, make some friends in the Discord. Help people in the Discord. All right. See ya later.